Many of you may have heard and seen the full symphony orchestra playing in the concert hall. Many more of you must have heard one over the radio. But today, I want to take this great musical box to pieces, show you the various instruments, and let you hear their own particular sound. Now, it's not usual for a conductor to talk during a concert, but this time, I'm going to name each instrument and tell you something about it before it plays. And I've placed them so that you may see them clearly. Now, the sounds in an orchestra are produced in three different ways, by the musicians either blowing, scraping, or banging. Well, first of all, let's hear them all together. instruments, some are made of wood and are called the wood wind. The other blowing instruments are made of brass and they naturally are called the brass. Now for the scraping instruments. These are played with a bow or plucked with the fingers and are called the strings. Listen to the instruments which make up these groups. First, the highest of the woodwind instruments, the flutes, and their small brother, the piccolo. the oboes. These instruments are played by blowing through two little pieces of reed, which produces that plaintive tone so typical of the instrument. The clarinets are not unlike the oboes to look at. These, however, are played with one large reed, which gives a more velvety quality.
are the largest and lowest of the woodwind and like the oboes are played with a double reed. the strings and here are the highest, the violins. As stringed instruments are smaller in turn, we need lots of them to balance the rest of the orchestra. The violins are divided into two parts, first violins, second violins. These are slightly larger than the violins and so are deeper in tone. are much larger, are too large to hold under the chin. the largest of the strings and lowest in sound, the double basses.
for a different type of stringed instrument, the harp, not played with a bow, but simply plucked with the fingers. Now we come to the brass instruments. First of all, the horns, each with about 12 foot of coiled tubing. <laughs> Trumpets. you're going to hear the trombones and an instrument which often plays with them, the tuba. Percussion instruments. We start with the kettle drums or timpani as they are called. The bass drum and cymbal. and the triangle. The side drum and the Chinese block. The xylophone. and the gong. And before they all play together, the whip.
having taken the orchestra to pieces, we must put it together again. So here's the fugue. Uh, in a fugue, every instrument plays the same tune, but not all at the same time. They come in one after another. First, each member of the woodwind family, then each section of the strings, and on through the brass to the percussion. At the end, you will hear Purcell's grand tune played on the brass, whilst the rest of the orchestra continues to play Britain's fugue. So now we have again all the instruments blowing, scraping, or banging, each making his own individual sound, but all blending together to make the noble music of the full symphony orchestra. <laughs> 